Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The sea is a gateway for various threats, from smuggling operations to unauthorized entries. These activities can easily bypass traditional surveillance methods, posing significant risks to national security. Coastal regions are vulnerable to these incursions. So, how do we effectively guard our shores and ensure maritime safety? The answer might lie with patrol boats. These small, agile vessels are key coastal defense and border security players. But among them, one stands out. The Mark VI patrol boat. The Mark VI was introduced to the U.S. Navy in 2015 to patrol rivers and coastal waters. It's replaced older, less capable boats and deployed in crucial areas like Bahrain and Guam. But can it make a difference in keeping our waters safe? Let's examine what makes the Mark VI patrol boat a key player in maritime security. The Mark VI spans 84.8 feet, making it significantly longer than earlier Navy patrol boats. It accommodates a crew of 10 sailors and carries up to eight additional personnel. Inside, the boat is designed for comfort and practicality featuring spacious berthing, shock-absorbing seats, and sound-deadening spaces that help reduce crew fatigue and the risk of injury in rough sea conditions. Equipped with a sophisticated C4SI suite, the Mark VI boasts enhanced situational awareness and multi-mission support with flat-screen monitors throughout. This networked system supports various missions, from mine hunting to countering swarm boat attacks. The standard armament includes two remote-controlled Mark 38 Mod 2 25mm chain guns and six crewed M250 caliber machine guns with options to mount M240 machine guns, M134 miniguns, and Mark 19 grenade launchers. It also features the Mark 50 gun weapon system, allowing operators to remotely control the armament from below the deck. To keep the crew ready for action, they go through regular training exercises. Right there. These drills are crucial because they prepare the crew for all sorts of missions the Mark VI might face. Whether it's finding mines, fending off swarm attacks, or performing rescue operations. These exercises make sure the crew knows what to do when the time comes.
The Mark VI's aluminum hull is powered by two MTU 16V2000 M94 diesel engines connected to water jets, enabling speeds of over 35 knots and a range of up to 600 nautical miles. Its reconfigurable main aft cabin can house Navy SEALs or serve as a medical facility. The rear deck and stern are designed for launching and recovering small boats, UAVs, and UUVs. The Mark VI is a solid replacement for the old Riverine Command Boat, or RCB. The RCB was great in its time, with a crew of four to eight, and the ability to transport up to 15 people. It had several mounts for different weapons and a remote operated small arms mount, which let sailors operate the guns safely from inside the boat. This was especially useful in rough seas, making missions safer and more accurate. The RCB's armored cockpit protected the crew and engine from small arms fire and explosion fragments, a crucial feature during operations. Serving in the coastal riverine force, the RCB acted as a link between shallow water units and larger naval vessels. This force, comprised of active and reserve members, operated more than 100 boats, ranging from 25-foot patrol boats to the new 85-foot Mark VI. With a length of 53 feet, a beam of 12 feet, and a draft of 36 inches, the RCB could cruise at over 35 knots and sprint at over 40 knots, with a range of more than 250 nautical miles. Its armament included mounts for M250 caliber, 7.62 mm M240B, Mark 19 40 mm machine guns, or Mark 44 GAU 17 7.62 mm guns and it had a foundation for a remote-operated weapon system. Despite its strengths, the Mark VI brings advanced features and capabilities that make it a fitting successor. Its design and technology offer improvements in speed, range, and versatility, addressing the modern needs of maritime security. Another remarkable invention in the realm of fast assault craft is the CB-90 class boat, developed for the Swedish Navy by Doc Staverit, a part of Saab. This versatile boat, commissioned in 1991, has proven its capabilities and adaptability in various military roles. The CB-90, measuring about 14.9 meters in length and capable of speeds of over 40 knots, is designed for speed, efficiency, and safety in different operating conditions. Its aluminum construction makes it lightweight, 
while the narrow landing ramp at the front allows for rapid deployment of troops. The CB-90 can accommodate up to 21 fully armed soldiers and carry up to 4.5 tons of cargo. The vessel's unique drop bow system enables quick extraction of casualties and rapid deployment ashore. The vehicle is equipped with three Browning M2HB machine guns and options for additional armaments. And the CB-90 can serve as a fast assault and coastal defense boat, a patrol boat, or a special operations support vessel. It has also been used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and intelligence gathering operations, making it a highly versatile craft. To demonstrate its capabilities, Sweden showcased the CB-90 to the US, highlighting its performance in various scenarios. The boat's ability to conduct amphibious operations was put to the test during exercises, showcasing its versatility in landing troops on challenging shorelines. Water casting, a technique where troops are deployed from the boat into the water to swim ashore, was another feature demonstrated proving the CB-90's utility in covert operations. The U.S. has also conducted shore insertion exercises with the CB-90, testing its efficiency in deploying troops quickly and safely onto hostile or unprepared shores. These exercises highlighted the boat's speed, maneuverability, and effectiveness in real-world operational scenarios. Moving to another key asset for shore insertions, the Combat Rubber Raiding Craft, or CRRC, are inflatable boats, also known as Zodiacs. They are a staple for Navy SEALs and other special operations units. They're lightweight, easy to store, and incredibly stealthy, especially when paddled. The CRRCs are versatile and can be quickly inflated with a foot pump, compressor, or CO2 tank. They are designed with multiple chambers so that the boat remains operational, even if one gets punctured. This makes them perfect for covert missions, where silence and speed are crucial. They are usually equipped with a 55 horsepower engine, allowing them to carry up to 10 fully equipped soldiers. Training for these operations is intense. Navy units go through rigorous exercises to master the use of CRRCs for missions like water casting and shore insertions. These drills prepare them to handle various conditions and ensure they can execute their tasks efficiently and effectively. 
the Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewman Squadrons are particularly adept at using these crafts. Their comprehensive training covers high-speed navigation, extraction techniques, and stealthy insertions. Let's go, hurry up! They are crucial in supporting SEAL teams and other special forces during operations, ensuring that missions involving CRRCs run smoothly. While the CRRCs are vital tools for the military, there's always that lingering question of whether they can meet all the challenges thrown at them in real-world scenarios. What else? Their simplicity and effectiveness make them indispensable, but also highly dependent on the operator's skill and training. Together, these vessels and their skilled operators form a formidable line of defense and response, crucial for modern naval and special operations. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.